Hey guys, today's play Ridge Racer Type 4. Um, so this came out in 1998, uh, actually 1999 in North America. Of course, Ridge Racer being a Namco racing series. Um, yeah, it's an arcade racing series. The original came from arcade. Um, this, I believe, is the last Ridge Racer game released for the PS1. Let's try Grand Prix. Uh, I do like Ridge Racer. Um, it's like kind of a competitor to uh, the Sega Daytona series. And of course, it's Welcome actually surpassed the, the Daytona Roots series in terms of popularity. Maybe not in the arcade. I'm not sure about the arcades, but certainly on con home console, it's gotten more releases than Daytona has. Okay, uh, so this is a new Japanese team. Their cars are tuned for balanced performance. And this one's an elite Italian team. Their cars are tuned for high performance. Okay. If you want a French team. The cars are tuned for handling. And this one is an American team. Their limited budget would making... Okay, so why would I pick this American team? They look like they suck. I'm going to pick the Japanese team because they balanced. You are the punk, huh? An inexperienced punk. I'm Yazaki. The worst you could do is ruin our non-existent reputation. They don't have a lot of confidence in me. Okay, what, what car am I going to go with? Uh, a Solo Toe, Italian auto manufacturer. This is... This is these are um, made up names, of course, but they're based on real cars, right? A Solo Toe, I'm guessing, is kind of like Ferrari. They look like Ferraris. Lizard... I mean, they, they didn't really license them, the, uh, the real brand names, right? So not like Gran Turismo and Forza these days. They actually license real names. But back then, Ridge Racer, no, they didn't license real names. Um, this, this brand is an American auto manufacturer. Dodge? No, Chevy. It looks like a Chevy Corvette. Yeah, I think it must be a Chevy Corvette. Terrazzi is Japanese. This looks like an Acura NSX, maybe? Something like that. And another French auto, okay. Uh, hmm. Would it be Renault or Piggott? Yeah, I mean, those are the only French auto manufacturers I know. Let's go with the Japanese Terrazzi. Auto automatic. Yeah, I can't even handle manual in real life. I, of course, I can't handle in game. I'm using a clutch.
this car, the handling's pretty good. And the acceleration's pretty good too. Oh, I failed. Oh, that sucks. Um, wasn't good enough. Let me try a uh, different one. Let's see. Rich racing. All right. Welcome to the real racing boots ninety-nine. Okay, so let's pick a different one this time. the Italian team. <laughs> the Italian guy. Okay, I'm um, Enki Gilbert, okay. Okay, let's see. Let's just go with your Italian manufacturer since I'm on an Italian team. Yokohama, Circuit Helter Skelter. Okay, so it's the same circuit. definitely isn't as good as the Japanese car, but the top acceleration should be better.
Uh, did I fail? Yeah, I failed. Okay. Anyways, Ridge Racer Type 4. Um, this is the last Ridge Racer game on PS1. It's pretty good. Uh, I like Ridge Racer a lot. I think the closest competition would probably be Test Drive's Test Drive on the um, PS1. Yeah, Test Drive 6 would be the competitor on PS1. And uh, maybe some of the Need for Speed games, although I think Need for Speed is a little bit even more arcadey than Ridge Racer is. Um, so, yeah, probably Daytona. And, uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be Daytona on the Dreamcast and uh, Test Drive 6. Um, that'll probably be the closest competitors to uh, Ridge Racer uh, Type 4. So, that's it, guys. Pretty fun racing game. Uh, thanks for watching.